U.S. leader, Rep. Jarvis Johnson, called for Mazen and the Canons release, asking the United States government to interfere. Hello, viewers, welcome to my noble channel. Now, according to the news of today, Rep. Javi Johnson has called for the release of Mazenam the Kano again. In his exact words, he says to the government of USA, Mazenam the Kano head condition have been ignored by Nigerian secret police. He has been denied access to his doctor and to the regular supply of his medication. His head has increasingly deteriorated and it is now feared that he may die in solitary confinement. Maze Kano's only offense is that he is the leading advocate for the freedom of all oppressed Nigerians and for a referendum on the Biafran's issue. The right of free speech including Political advocacy is a cornerstone of all democracies. At a time when democracy is threatened globally, it is imperative that we all join hand to protect Mazen and the Kano's right of freedom of speech. The illegal kidnapping, torture, and solitary confinement of Mazen and the Kano offends our democracies. Norms. So does the we fool. So does the we feel disobedience of the judgment of his own cause by the Nigerian government. I am demanding for the immediate release of Mazenam the Kano. The government of Nigeria needs to comply with the UN mandate and the orders of its own court. The Nigerian government is carrying out another form of genocide. One citizen at a time. I am calling on the American government to get involved to stop this genocide. We have protected other countries around this world to help vulnerable populations. We need to do the same for Nigeria and its Biafran citizens. This letter was actually from a U.S. leader, Rep. Javis Johnson. And it is a welcome development. He is telling the U.S. government to come on to openly to condemn the atrocities the Nigerian government are committed over the case of Mazen Namde Khan, a freedom fighter. He acknowledged him as a freedom fighter, fighting for the well being of all Nigerians who are suffering and the referendum for Biafra. This was what he was telling to his country people that they should do the name for to make sure that Buhari government do the right thing by force, by fire. If you take a look, you will see that this gentleman has suffered so much in the hands of this criminally DSS man who called himself DSS, whereas they are Boko Haram recruited. And some of them are terrorists for it. And whenever we say this, people will think that we are lying or we are saying something that's not right. We all know who started all this whole problem that's happening in Ebola today. They are the Flanit terrorists. Can you tell me anything that the Buhari government has done to stop Flanit terrorists from terrorizing people? Even as they continue to keep Mazen and the Kanu in DSS custody. Fulani terrorists are still in Ebola, tormenting people, killing, and raping. They will harvest 
they will murder innocent Tebo youth. They will murder innocent Tenugu youth. They will return back. This is what they have continued to do. This is what they have continued to do. But nobody that calls themselves leader in that go for second country is saying about it. Even after the court of law has asked Mazenam the Kanu to go, that he did not commit any crime. Those people who claim that they are born to rule, who claim that they are here to protect the law, made by their crazy, criminally minded, old school military men, cannot protect that same constitution. They are going around flaunting it. When we are busy saying that this constitution was created by the Northerners, soldiers, and the constitution was BS. Upon that, they don't even obey the rig of that constitution that they made by themselves. They disobey court order every day by day. They call the judges bluff. What we are seeing today is that the Buhari government purposely keep every of his kinsmen in the head of affairs of Nigeria so that he will have everything in platter of gold. Upon that, he has become a failure. As a president, the only thing he has not fed is killing people, murdering innocent people in Biafra land. That's all. American government should, as a matter of fact, do something about this issue. Because it's obvious that Master Nam the Khalid did not commit any crime. And Nigeria government has not seen anything to hold him with. That is why they have continued to keep him in Jesus' custody. In the name of Remain, what did the man commit? They have to remind him if he committed any crime. And we are not ready to judge him yet. But this is a different thing. He has been judged by the court of law. In different places in Nigeria, including the appeal court. Even though the letter, some of the letters swallow back their vomit by putting whatever it is they put in Mazenam the Kano's case. I put it on hold. But that also we should know that he was set free and the free man he is. The world powers have to do the NIFO. They have to do the NIFO by stopping this man from the genocide he has been committing against innocent Timo youth. Everything was planned. Unless, of course, they are telling us that they are complicit to this crime. Like that man said, they have always helped so many people, so many countries. So why is Biafra own different to them? Not that the man committed the, must not have committed any crime. Because if he did, no court would have set him free. But because he did not commit any crime, he was set free. Not minding that he was kidnapped. Brutally tortured upon that. The world it seems as if they are keeping quiet. The United Nations gave an order, and that order has not been carried out. Why? Because a woman who is robbing Bridget Clinton is in the United Nations as secretary, general, whatever. Time shall tell. I'll say this again. <laughs> Either don't leave that man before this election, unless they are looking for something else. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay, Biafra. Yeah,